B Console, a new dimension for your music. After several years of development, Tyros Magic brings you an incredible way to enhance your instrument. The idea behind V Console was to create a true organ style instrument from a Tyros 5. However, the project has gone further than that and provides everyone, even those with just the main keyboard on its own, a new level of flexibility and ease of use. Put simply, it makes setting up your own registrations both quicker and easier. V Console has a number of displays that cover different features. This bit here at the bottom can always be seen. These are the registration buttons. There are 16 banks available. If you like, you can give the registrations names or leave them just as numbers. When you tap the registration buttons, you will see the Tyros change as well. V Console links the two devices together so that you can use the best of both at the same time. You can also see the transpose control and a switch for turning the accompaniment on and off on the lower keyboard. The console page is the main performance page. You can see a collection of squares. These are like old fashioned organ tabs. These tabs are arranged in three rows, upper, lower and pedal. Each row has eight tabs. Each column of three tabs applies to a different voice. These are called parts. So to switch a part on or off, just use the tab. Orange is on, blue is off. So if you turn on the tab for a part on the upper row, you can play it from the upper keyboard. Use the tab in the lower row and it will sound on the lower keyboard. And the same is true for the pedals. You can operate these as you play to switch parts on and off on the different keyboards and pedal board if you have one. If you're using a single keyboard, then the upper and lower rows are actually the parts of the keyboard either side of the split point on the main keyboard. Let's look at a simple example. I've used a theatre organ style setup here. Watch how I can play it like a real theatre organ using the tabs to switch parts on and off. The volumes for each of the parts can also be adjusted as you play. This means your music can be more spontaneous. You can set up a selection of voices and then just play, conducting which parts are playing using the tabs on the screen. So now let's look at voices. Now each part contains a different voice. So to choose which voice is in each part, then we switch to the voices page. At the top you can see which part we're working on. Let's start with a basic setup. This is the default setup before you make your own. Let's suppose I wanted to change the piano sound to a different one, maybe an electric piano. All I have to do is tap the voices page selector at the top. The piano sound is in part one, so I'll just make sure that it's lit in the part select box. I said I wanted an electric piano, so I tap E piano and choose a voice from the grid below. All the original voices are available. You can add your own user voices and expansion voices as well. And you can even copy and paste voices into your own favorites collection, which is really handy. The voices are arranged in pages. You can get to all the available sounds really quickly using the touch screen. Just tap the different pages. There is space for 5,120 voices in vConsole, so there's plenty of room for future expansion. So let's look at the voice settings now. Let's choose a string ensemble sound now and use the two voice set pages to make the finer adjustments. These controls may look familiar, but the touch screen makes them so quick and easy to control. We've got volume, pan, brightness, reverb, release, along with a few others. You can change the octave as well.
two really useful buttons are called couplers. These work the same as the sub and super octave on a pipe organ. If you tap super octave, sound is doubled an octave higher. And if you tap sub octave, it is doubled an octave lower. Just listen to how you can create a big ensemble sound instantly using just one part. Underneath you'll see key range. This means you can choose which part of the keyboard the sound will play from, enabling you to create multiple splits around your setup. You can also set a key range for the accompaniment section as well. Let's do a simple setup. I'm going to set the accompaniment to play from the lowest part of the lower manual. I'll set a piano to play in the middle. And then a brass sound at the top. On the second voice set page you can see more controls. The mono and poly control is great for turning almost any voice into a pedal voice. You can also affect the way the part responds to the strength with which you play the keys. A great feature is the ability to set the part to play only when you play a certain way. For example, you can add a brass accent whenever you like by just playing louder. Here we have soft trombone, and if I play more strongly, you get a full brass sound. This one is great for big band music. So this gives you a taste of what you can do with V Console. In truth, the possibilities are endless. My goal was to make something that was so easy to use that it was actually fun to play. Of course you create the best music when you enjoy it yourself. It's all about the music. With VConsole, I feel I have created my dream instrument, allowing me to use all the magnificent sounds from the latest Yamaha keyboards in new and exciting ways. I'm delighted to be able to share it with you. VConsole is available from Tyros Magic, to find out more, visit www.tyrosmagic.com.